We're talking about the M13, the meta gun of Modern Warfare 2. Told you I was going to kill you. Get beamed, man. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YT? How you guys doing? Thanks so much for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, comment below, and let me know what you guys think of this video. We're talking about the M13, the meta gun of Modern Warfare 2, or MW2. Trust me on this one. It's meta. It's so good that I leveled it up and maxed it out in an hour. 40 kills a game, 30 kills a game was crazy. It's as fast as an SMG if you set it up right and does more damage, high rate of fire, and better range. The gun's broken. It was broken in the first season of Modern Warfare 1 a couple of years ago. If you don't know how to unlock the M13 or how to get it, or if you do know how to get it, just can't get it done inside the DMZ, check out the video right there at the top of the screen on YouTube to find out how to cheese it and get your M13 in the DMZ easily without even having to kill the chemist. All right, this just in. Breaking news. Warzone 2 is great. Not only that, there's campers everywhere. How do we deal with that? Well, we got the new M13 that just rocks everybody, gives them permanent dirt naps. So I want to make sure everybody's watching at home understands how good this gun really is. And be sure to watch this whole video on how to level it up and set it up perfectly so that everybody is pushing up daisies in Warzone and Modern Warfare 2. Told you I was going to kill you. Get beamed, man. I'm so glad that's one thing that they removed from the- Yeah, Russian Soviet rifle. Good tip. Yep, yep. Yeah, yep, whatever gun you were holding. Do it that way. Okay with that, but if you want to keep sniping, you all. How the f do you go side to side that fing quick? <laughs> like.
So there's two ways to set this up. And really what it comes down to is your personal preference. You want to set it up for a hip fire or ADS speed for team deathmatch. It's going to depend on your play style. With hip fire accuracy set up the right way, you don't have to ADS till you're already shooting. So it really doesn't matter how slow the ADS is within reason. That's the way I prefer it. If you prefer to set it up for ADS speed, you're really going to need the stock, the Bruin Flash V4, as well as the Flash Grip. Now, if you want to set it up with the grip and the stock, like I just said, you're going to need the Battle Pass Gun BASP, which I do have, but haven't maxed it out. So I didn't really set it up like that. However, if you did max that gun out, you could use that grip and stock and set it up with this laser right here the seven milliwatt which will give you all the ads speed you need then all you're really going to need is the harbinger d20 which is right here you won't need to worry about anything else for the most part the grip in the stock the laser the muzzle and then you can set it up with either an under barrel or a barrel at that point i would leave the barrel alone and the under barrel and i would just like leave it with those four attachments since i don't have the basp leveled up I'm going to set it up my normal way, which is going to be the hip shot L20 for hip fire accuracy. Under barrel, we're going to go ahead and set it up with the Merc foregrip as the Merc is better than the pineapple. Without getting into all the details, it's better on the hip shots and it's definitely going to give you better vertical recoil control. So we're going to set it up just like that. Like I said, muzzle, Harbinger D20, unless you want a little extra speed, but it's not worth it especially for the hip fire because you're going to be able to hip fire almost immediately so that's how i would set it up right there with my first three attachments since we're setting up for hip fire we can get away with the r90 factory sometimes i use that and sometimes i feel like it it's really not doing a whole lot but it, it does help out with a little bit of recoil control with this setup i definitely want to run the brew echelon there's no doubt because we're not adsing we just pure hip fire this is the best way to set it up. Let's go ahead and show you exactly how I'd set this up. All recoil steadiness and damage range. On the muzzle, on the D20, all recoil smoothness, bullet velocity, Merc foregrip is all hip control and hip fire accuracy. On the stock, we're gonna go with aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. This right here is, like I say, your close quarters combat. We're gonna set this up right quick take you right in and show you exactly what I'm talking about. You can see the ADS speed is a little slow, but hip fire accuracy and damage. It only took nine bullets to kill up close. You can see we'll go ahead and pound this out. It's good for a three bullet kill up close. We go right here. And that's good for less than 30 that far away. Now ADSing, perfect for your team deathmatch. Let's go in and set up the war zone. For war zone, we're going to take away the laser and the Merc foregrip and the stock. Under barrel is going to be FTAC Ripper. We're going to go ahead, recoil stabilization, aiming idle stability all the way up. Optic, there's nothing else I would run besides the VLK. Actually, I take that back. There's one other one, and that is the Forge Tac Delta IV. They're both very, very good, although I do prefer the VLK. For the VLK, it's going to depend on your gunfights. I leave it in the middle. You could run more ADS speed or more flinch resistance. I would turn the flinch resistance up. We're going to go ahead and put the 60 round mag on. And this is your war zone loadout. You come in here, you see the ADS speed is not that slow. You'll see hip fire is still pretty decent. Still get about an eight round kill. Let's go ahead and see what this gun can do. Almost no recoil whatsoever. It's a very good gun. 